Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to split cells in Excel with Power Query. Now if you're familiar with uh, text to columns where maybe you'd have some items that have some delimiters, basically they are separated by delimiter. In this case, uh, the letters here A, B, C, D, they're separated by commas. You're probably familiar with text to columns where you can separate these. A would be in this column, or A would be in this column, then B would be in this column, C and D would be in that column. So basically what you would do is you would go here, go under data and we do text to columns and we would have um, separation by delimiter maybe this is going to be a comma and click finish and you see that it is separated now there's another way that we can use uh, Excel using the Power Query function to do that and I'm going to show you six examples of how we can use Power Query to go ahead and split uh, items in a cell. So let's start with this one first. So in this case what we can do is we can go to the Power Query tab and uh, incidentally with Power Query it's an add-on so if you've got Excel 2010 or greater uh, you can go ahead and just Google uh, download Power Query for Excel and after you download it and install it you would have to enable it. So basically I'm not going to go through it in this video but that's how you would get this tab in here for Power Query. So after uh, Power Query is installed and enabled we can go under uh, the particular item here, the range of cells, and I'm going to get data from the table here. So what it's going to do when I click this is it's going to turn the small range of data into a table uh, using the table feature. And it shows my table as headers because the first row uh, is basically a description. So I'm going to click OK. And uh, once that is in there, it's going to bring up the Power Query Editor and it's going to have the items here. So basically it looks very much like the Excel uh, worksheet. I'm going to select on this particular column and under the Home tab, go to uh, the Transform group and under here where it says Split Columns. So I'm going to go ahead and split by delimiter. So after I click on that, another window will pop up and ask me what kind of delimiter I will have. Uh, basically, it's going to be a comma delimiter. I'm going to split it at each occurrence. And there are some advanced options you can choose. Uh, in, in this case, it has kind of identified the maximum amount of characters to split it uh, because of the um, commas. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. You'll see that there's some things I can change here for other examples that I'm going to show later. But for this one, I'll go ahead and just click OK. And now you can see that it is split it up. And basically, I can rename these column headers. It just gave the generic items 1, 2, 3, and 4. I can just right click and go uh, click rename and just call this uh, uh, first column or, or whatever. Um, first column, right? And you can do the same for the second columns. And after that is done, you can click close and load because we want to put this back into the Excel worksheet, not have it in the query editor. If I click close and load, it's going to put it in as a new worksheet here. And you can see that it's given me uh, that particular um, set of columns that are split. Now that's the first example. Let's say we have another example here and we just want to split. We want to keep the full phone number, but we want to split by the extension here. So same thing here, I can select within the cell here, go to Power Query and click from table. It's going to create a table. I go ahead and click OK. And now it's going to bring it in. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and make a split by um, the delimiter. And it's going to be a custom delimiter. And basically, uh, assuming that each of these extensions has an X in it, I'm going to go ahead and click on the custom here and just type uh, X, right? And so I'll go ahead and click OK, and what it's going to do is it's going to split it and take out the X, and we'll have our extension here. So as I said before, you can right-click this particular area, do rename, and we'll put extension, and this one we can just right-click or double-click it. You can even double-click it, you can get phone number, and then we can click close and load, and it's going to bring it into a worksheet with that information. So that's what a phone number, if you have something in there at the end. Let's go to my um, other example here. Let me go ahead and bring this out a little bit. Let me go to my, let's see, I think it was the third example. Let me move this over here. We had our third example here where we are splitting names. Maybe we want something, uh, this is a full name here. Maybe we want a first name, a last name. And in, in some instances, we have a middle name, so we want to split that up. So, uh, like unlike the previous two examples where you can actually probably use text to columns for the previous two examples uh, if you had a small range of data if you have a large range of data it's probably a good idea to use Power Query but in this example even though we have a small list of data a small a set of data uh, it's going to be a little bit more um, 
work to create uh, the split. Now basically, uh, you'd be using functions like the, the left function, uh, the right function, and the mid function to kind of take out uh, the words from the name here. But with Power Query, it becomes a little bit easier. So what I can do here is I can go under Power Query and then go ahead and get uh, from table, click OK. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take the last name out first and put it into a column. So I select my column here, split the column and by delimiters, and we're going to assume that these are all separated by spaces. So I'm going to go ahead and, and click the space. And what I want to do is I want to take the rightmost delimiter, the rightmost space. So it's going to create that uh, separation with the last name first. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And once that's done, we have our last names out here. Now I want to do the same thing, but now do the first instance of that space. So I'm going to click on that, click split columns by delimiter, and then do the leftmost delimiter. So basically I'm separating out the first word before the space in the beginning of the name, and then the, the last word uh, after the space. And anything in between is considered the middle, the middle name. So I'll go ahead and click OK, and now we have our, oops, let me go ahead and do that. So what, if we do a mistake, if we have a mistake here, what we can do is um, these applied steps are basically the history of the steps you've taken. So if I did a mistake, uh, there's not really a control Z. If I press control Z, then nothing really happens. Instead, there are these steps here, which you can um, basically erase. So I'll go ahead and click on the X mark here and click on the X mark here. And we're back to the beginning here. So what I need to do is select that column and do split column by delimiter. And then it's going to be the space and then the leftmost delimiter, the leftmost delimiter here. Then I go ahead and click OK, and now you notice that it has split it out. And uh, I can type, I can double click this and go first, and double click that and go middle, oops, middle, and double click this and go, oops, uh, first, let me do first, all right, double click that and go middle, enter, double click that and type last, all right? And let's say I don't want these nulls there, you know, um, I, I want these to be blank. So I can do just select that column and go into transform. And on here, under here that says replace values, click on that and type no. Find the value that says no and then just leave it blank here and click OK. And it's going to give me nothing, basically give me a blank. I'll go back to the home tab here, click close and load, and it's going to bring back into a worksheet. And now we have our first, middle, and last columns, respective for the names. So that's how we can do it for uh, names, for first, middle, and last names, if, if we wanted to separate that out. So let's go to my other example here. Uh, let's say, for example, that we have uh, items here where we have the city name, and then we have a product name. This actually happened to me in a, an assignment where I had uh, the product names uh, that were near the end. So this is actually a fairly easy example too. So I can just go under here, and if I wanted to separate out the product name, basically it's what I showed kind of earlier with name. Let me go into Power Query and go to Table here. And we go and click OK. So basically, this is almost the same as the names, where we wanted to kind of split out, split out the last uh, delimiter, uh, anything past the last delimiter. So I'll go ahead and click on that column, click Split Column by Delimiter, and then just it's just going to be the most right delimiter. And if I go ahead and click OK, now you'll see, whoops, let me go ahead and undo this. Uh, undo that. I have to select this, go ahead and click split by delimiter, and we're going to do the space. It was a space here because I think I didn't think I selected space there. Go ahead and click space, and it's going to be the right delimiter. Click OK, and now we have our rightmost delimiter. I'll go ahead and click close and load, and it's going to bring it into the Excel worksheet. Of course, I forgot to change the headers here, but you can change it here. So we can change it here, and uh, that would uh, take care of that one. So my next example here is going to deal with URLs. So let's say, for example, we've got a we had a, a data dump and it's got a bunch of URLs, and we just wanted to have the domain, uh, basically anything that is after these two slashes and uh, before this third slash. We want to have that domain uh, kind of separated out. So this can be done uh, with also Power Query. I'll go ahead and click on Power Query and from Table, and click OK. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and use the delimiter. Let me go and select this. I'll go ahead and use split column by delimiter. It's going to be the slash. So basically, it's going to be custom. And it's going to be that slash, right? And 
when I really want to think about it, I want to, I really want only the I really only want to split it up three times. This first slash, the second slash, and the third slash. So basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna separate out the domain name here. So I only need it up to the third slash. Anything else I don't need. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna separate it out, uh, the words out, and those slashes disappear. Basically, when you think about it, this is invisible slash number one, invisible slash number two, invisible slash number three. And all I need is that. So I can select this, right click, and go uh, remove. But if I've got a lot of columns that remove, I only want to keep one column, I can actually just select this column and select remove other columns. So basically, instead of doing it one step at a time for the other columns, just select one column and remove the other columns. After that's done, click close and load, and it's going to bring it into my Excel worksheet. So let's get into my last example here. So in this example, maybe we have um, copied some worksheet or made a copy from somewhere else and there were line breaks. So this line break occurs because, let me go ahead and um, expand this out. This line break occurs if you had a full sentence here and you're typing. All you need to do is type the Alt, press Alt, and Enter, and it's going to create this line break. So for example, let's say that I wanted to add an extra line break after the width. So I'll just go click before the L here, press Alt, and press Enter, and there's another line break. So if we wanted to separate this out, let's say these, this is not really a real sentence. Let me go ahead and uh, not, uh, close this out a little bit. This is not really a real sentence, but these are um, items uh, or SKU numbers. And basically what happened when we copied this down from another source, uh, it kind of added line breaks and we wanted to separate that out. And we didn't know exactly where uh, the line breaks were. We can actually do this in Power Query. So what I can do is select this, click on Power Query and go, uh, Excel data, get, get data from the table, click OK here. And now what I want to do is use the custom one. So I'll go, go ahead and click on this particular column, go split by column, by delimiter, and it's going to be by custom. And the thing here is when we select custom, uh, the, the code for uh, a line break is actually uh, pound uh, parentheses LF. And I think the LF stands for line feed. And so once I click on that, and I want to have it uh, split at each occurrence because I don't know how many occurrences of line breaks there really are between these different records. So I'm going to have it split at each occurrence. Now for my advanced options, uh, we need to consider kind of how many columns we need to split it up. So if we really don't know how many line breaks there are uh, from each record, well, it's kind of a guess here. So I'm going to guess about uh, maybe the maximum will be 10 here. So just something large um, that lets me go ahead and create those line breaks as it lets it separate out. If it goes too large, I can uh, delete the other columns uh, as I did before. So once that's selected, I'll go ahead and click OK. And once you, you'll notice that it really hasn't done anything. It looks like it doesn't hasn't done anything. That's because we have to go into the advanced editor and change it a little bit. So let me go ahead and go to the advanced editor here. And what it's done is it's, this is called M code. So this is the, or the M language for Power Query. Um, a little bit daunting, but uh, not to fear. There's only one thing that you really need to change here. And you just need to change and remove the extra pound sign here. So this extra pound sign is in parentheses. So we just need to remove that. And then click oh, click Done. And what it's going to do is it, it has broken it out uh, just fine now. So it has found the, the line breaks and it's breaking it out. So all I need to do to select the ones that I want to keep is select that column, uh, press the shift key, select that column and delete the other columns. So I'll right click, remove other columns. And now I have other columns that I want. Click close and load. And now in another worksheet, it has separated them out accordingly uh, based on those line breaks. So those are the different examples of how we can split cells using Power Query from the kind of simple to a little bit more complex. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.